Apples are harvested from orchards when they reach peak ripeness to ensure the best flavor and juice yield. Farmers use mechanical harvesters or hand-picking methods depending on the apple variety and region. The harvested apples are packed in crates or bins and transported to juice processing factories using refrigerated trucks to maintain freshness. Upon arrival at the factory, the apples undergo a strict quality control check. Sorting is done to separate high-quality apples from those that are damaged, overripe, or unripe. Modern factories use automated conveyor belts with cameras and sensors to identify and remove defective apples. The apples pass through large water tanks where they are thoroughly washed. High-pressure water jets and rotating brushes remove dirt, pesticides and bacteria from the surface. Some factories also use ozone or chlorine-based sanitization to eliminate any harmful microbes. Apples are then rinsed with clean, filtered water before processing. After cleaning, the apples move to an industrial crusher or grinder, where they are broken down into a fine pulp. Some factories use hammer mills, disc mills, or roller crushers for efficient grinding. The apple pulp contains both juice and solid particles like skin and seeds. The crushed apple pulp is then pressed to extract the juice using different methods. Hydraulic pressing uses a hydraulic press to squeeze the pulp, extracting clear juice. Belt pressing involves a conveyor belt that applies gradual pressure, squeezing juice out. Lastly, screw pressing employs a rotating screw that pushes the pulp against a mesh, forcing juice out. The leftover solid material, known as apple pomace, is either used for animal feed, compost, or further processed to extract more juice. The extracted juice still contains small pulp particles, fibers, and natural apple sediments. Factories use different filtration techniques. Centrifugation involves spinning the juice at high speeds to separate solids. Enzymatic treatment adds natural enzymes to break down solid particles and make the juice clearer. Ultrafiltration uses fine filters to remove remaining impurities and improve clarity. Depending on the type of juice being produced, some manufacturers leave the juice cloudy for a more natural look, while others refine it to be completely clear. To kill bacteria, molds, and other harmful microorganisms, the juice undergoes pasteurization. Heated to around 85 degrees Celsius, or 185 degrees Fahrenheit for a few seconds, then quickly cooled. This process extends the shelf life while preserving flavor and nutrients. Some manufacturers use flash pasteurization, which involves a higher temperature for a shorter time, to retain more of the fresh taste. Many companies reduce water content from the juice to make concentrated apple juice which is easier to transport and store. Vacuum evaporation is used to remove excess water without affecting flavor. Later, before packaging, water is reintroduced to get the right taste and consistency. Different apple juice batches are blended to maintain a consistent taste, sweetness, and acidity. Some juices may be mixed with other natural fruit extracts or added vitamin C, ascorbic acid, for better nutrition. The juice undergoes strict lab testing to ensure it meets food safety standards. Tests include pH level check to maintain the right acidity, sugar content, bricks level, test to ensure natural sweetness, and microbial testing to ensure it's free from bacteria and contaminants. The juice is now ready for bottling and packaging. It is filled into sterilized containers using automated filling machines. Common packaging options include glass bottles for premium juice brands, plastic bottles, pet bottles for large-scale distribution, tetra packs, carton boxes for long shelf life, ideal for retail, and aluminum cans for ready-to-drink apple juice. The containers are then sealed, labeled, and coated with batch numbers and expiration. The packed apple juice is stored in temperature-controlled warehouses to maintain freshness. The juice is then transported to supermarkets, restaurants, and distributors worldwide. Before shipping, final quality checks are performed to ensure the juice meets safety and taste standards. Laboratory tests include microbial testing to confirm no harmful bacteria or mold is present, nutrient analysis to verify vitamin content and sugar levels, color and taste consistency checks, shelf life testing to confirm the juice remains fresh over time. If any batch fails quality tests, it is rejected or reprocessed. Once quality control is approved, the juice bottles or containers move to the labeling section. Labels include brand name and logo, ingredients list, nutritional facts, expiry date and batch number, QR codes or barcodes for tracking and scanning in stores. Some manufacturers also add eco-friendly labels to highlight organic or natural juice options. 
The packed juice bottles and cartons are placed on automated conveyor belts where they are stacked onto pallets. The pallets are wrapped with plastic film to prevent damage during transportation. Pallets are stored in temperature-controlled warehouses to maintain freshness before shipping. The packaged apple juice is loaded into trucks, ships, or airplanes for delivery. Different shipping methods include local delivery, which is sent to supermarkets, grocery stores, and restaurants. Export shipping is transported overseas in refrigerated containers. Online orders are sent directly to customers from distribution centers. Retailers stock shelves with fresh apple juice for consumers to purchase. Once the packaged apple juice reaches supermarkets, grocery stores, and vending machines, it is arranged for customers to buy. Stores use proper shelving techniques to display juice brands attractively. Some apple juice products are placed in refrigerated sections, while others are stored at room temperature. Special promotions, discounts, and advertisements are used to encourage sales. Customers buy the apple juice from stores' online platforms or vending machines. Juice can be consumed directly from the bottle or carton or used for other purposes, such as smoothies and cocktails mixing apple juice with other fruits, cooking and baking using apple juice in recipes, and health and detox drinks as part of a balanced diet. After consumption, the empty juice containers are recycled or disposed of properly. Factories and governments encourage eco-friendly packaging, such as recyclable plastic bottles and glass bottles, biodegradable cartons, and eco-friendly labels. Many manufacturers run sustainability programs to reduce environmental impact by recycling leftover apple pulp into animal feed, compost, or biofuel. After the apple juice reaches customers, companies collect feedback through surveys and reviews, both online and in stores. Social media comments and ratings also provide valuable insights. Additionally, sales data analysis helps to understand demand and improve products. Based on customer preferences, companies may introduce new flavors, for example, apple mango or apple ginger. They might also improve packaging or bottle design. And of course, there's a focus on healthier options such as sugar-free or organic apple juice. Juice companies constantly upgrade technology to improve efficiency. They invest in better machinery for faster juice extraction. Eco-friendly packaging is another priority to reduce plastic waste. Sustainable farming practices are adopted to grow apples with fewer pesticides. The ultimate goal is to deliver better quality apple juice while protecting the environment. Many apple juice manufacturers export their products worldwide. The juice is shipped to different countries through cargo ships and refrigerated containers for long-distance transport. Air freight is used for premium or fast delivery products. Different countries have different labeling and food safety laws so companies ensure they meet international quality standards. With advancing technology factories are developing new ways to improve apple juice, cold-pressed apple juice, no heat, better nutrients, smart packaging, bottles with freshness indicators, zero waste production, using apple waste for new products like vinegar or cosmetics. The future of apple juice focuses on sustainability, better nutrition, and eco-friendly production. End of the video. The video ends with a summary of the apple juice making process. Viewers see fresh apple juice being poured into a glass showing the final product. A message encourages people to enjoy fresh apple juice and choose natural, healthy options. The video may include a like and subscribe reminder if it's from a YouTube or social media channel.